Hi, I'm Silvio and this is part 9 of my Christmas Village 2020 food tutorial series. When you build a Christmas Village, it is a huge mistake to rely on what you did in the past, unless you are repeating year after year the same layout and you are simply extremely boring. When you are in the creative heat, it is easy to believe that what you are making is so great, so perfect, but you need to regain a minimum of objectivity as quickly as possible, because no one is immune from making mistakes, and if you accept it, your building skills will improve with each Christmas village you decide to lay down. By now, you should know the almost obsession I have for stairs and foot bridges. But the lesson, the important lesson I got from last year is that they must blend with the landscape as much as possible. They need to be discreet or they will mess up with the harmony that should be mandatory for every Christmas village. These giants needed to be smaller this year, so I made them smaller but I also need to find space-saving alternatives or uh, low-profile alternatives to move from one level to another. Here I am finally dealing with uh, mixed solutions or space-saving solutions or uh, low-profile solutions I spoke to you before. And you already had a quick preview uh, during my last video. I will essentially use the same technique I developed for creating the tracks support section to climb from ground level up to the first level here on top of the main gallery. And by the way, I just painted the plain black inside of the gallery because I didn't want any white to be seen from the outside. Uh, the gallery must be completely uh, dark. Back to our main subject. Uh, this profile here was already occupied by the uh, support sections, so I will certainly not uh, mess with uh, the overall aspect of the landscape, uh, adding uh, five more centimeters of depth in order to climb those tw 12 centimeters separating the ground level from the first level. I will use uh, uh, some more uh, section here and, and four of these uh, mini uh, little stairs uh, you have seen me building uh, some time ago. <laughs> of the first uh, solution I found for this year uh, stairs. Uh, 12 centimeters uh, climbed in uh, four steps, first step, second step, third step 
and the forceps. And by the way, I just uh, need to add uh, these little pieces here to complete the first climb. Here we go. And uh, it will be uh, necessary to add some more details, but uh, it's just a quick way to show you uh, what I found um, as first solution. Let's go ahead. Now, from this side of the layout, from the left side of the layout, I can easily climb from uh, ground level up to the second level. I need to add a solution to climb or to get access to the third level from the left side. I decided to use these uh, uh, stairs. You have seen me building it and painting it uh, just some days ago, oops, uh, <laughs> during last video. For me, it was some days. Um, I will put it in the left, in the far left corner of the layout here. Nothing is really fixed, but I will try to fix everything by the end of this video. I will try, don't promise it. But the second level from the left side of the uh, layout has also this side that I need to access from other levels. And this year I will surely not use a crossing over the railroad because it will certainly mess with the landscape, with the uh, depth of view. I will use another solution I've uh, find staring at the uh, layout. Some nights ago, almost early in the morning, I was uh, staring at the overall aspect of the village, of the landscape, and I noticed that this longer section here will surely be not suitable for any kind of uh, buildings, uh, maybe for some rocks or some uh, trees. So I uh, thought, why not use in this long section to gain access to the second level, uh, to the, the side of the second level, um, using uh, some kind of uh, uh, stairs. So I uh, decided to make uh, these uh, Mm, this uh, support, it, it has a length of uh, 35 centimeters and a height of uh, 9 centimeters. Uh, I glued the three, um, three pieces of, sty of styrofoam together, then I glued on top and on the side some paper painted from uh, cobblestones uh, road. Uh, and I will also use uh, uh, some mini stairs, uh, uh, three mini stairs, three normal mini stairs, and one uh, turning left mini stairs. Uh, let me uh, put it uh, in place. Uh, maybe it will go off view. This one here, okay. Then some some stairs, sorry, the camera is completely off screen. Then the second one, then the third one, and finally the turning left. Okay. I think you will see it uh, now more in details. So Maybe from this side will be uh, more easily to show you what I did. Um, the long section here, 35 centimeters of a long section there. Um, and then I added uh, one, two, three and four mini stairs in order to uh, get access from ground level to the uh, second level here. Okay, but now how can I get access to the uh, stairs, to the mini stairs from this side? Completely impossible. Completely impossible 
for now. Next step, getting access to the stairs I've just added. I just uh, printed out this little arc here. It has an 8 of uh, 7 centimeters and I will use it to create an arc at the portal under the train supports. Precisely in uh, this uh, position right uh, there. I don't know if you can see it white on white. I'm sure that the camera will be uh, <laughs> easily off uh, uh, view, so I will try to uh, get it in a fixed position while I'm creating this uh, portal. Just a few seconds to get everything uh, set up. Just hope to have filmed correctly the creation of the arcade portal. I will find out only when editing all the videos. Quick recap concerning the three levels from the left side of the layout. Now we can easily get access from ground level to second level and third level from the far left side of the layout and uh, to get access from ground level to second level from the center side we can now get uh, through the arcade portal I've just uh, created done for the left side let's get to the right side I will use these stairs to get access from the ground level to the second level here. And I will embed these stairs into the second level, cutting the space I need. I will need a width of 15 centimeters and a depth of 13 centimeters. Of course, I still need to add the last step here to have exactly 12 centimeters in eight, but I will add it once I've made the cutting for embedding the stair. Let's go.
Ah, the stair is embedded in the uh, second level and I can get uh, access from ground level to the second level here on the right side. I still need to fill up uh, some little gaps as always but uh, it is a job for a later time. Now that I've reached the second level even from the uh, right side of the layout I will need to cross over the canyon, over the railroad. Nothing more easily done. I will use this uh, foot uh, bridge. Uh, it is a bridge that I've already used in the past and I will put it uh, along uh, somewhere along uh, the canyon, maybe uh, there. Uh, you may have noticed that uh, the span of the bridge is too short in order to cross uh, correctly uh, the canyon. So I will need uh, to add some extra steps that I've made from uh, Styrofoam last year to cross correctly over the canyon. I will need to add one extra uh, set of steps from each side here, there, and the span of the bridge will be uh, correct to cross over uh, the canyon without any problems. So I will place it along the canyon somewhere, let's just say down there. With the footbridge I've reached the largest section of the second level from the right side of the layout. I will need to climb over that wall uh, in order to get access to the third level. I will use uh, these stairs. You have seen me building uh, also this one during last video. And it has a little, a small platform on top of it, nothing compared to <laughs> um, the platform I used last year. I still need uh, to finish the stairs. I was thinking to add some uh, vegetation uh, on inside those holes I've created along the um, the wall of the stair. Uh, so I will put it uh, uh, along the wall back there here like this. I will put it there. Uh, it will just add five more uh, centimeters to the wall already existing here. Uh, this way uh, the overall aspect of the landscape will not be ruined at all by the stair. Next step is to cross over another canyon. I have another bridge, same type of bridge, identical bridge to the uh, previous one. I just need to make the extra steps, I will make, uh, make them uh, in just a few uh, minutes. Here we go, let's place it over the second canyon, right there, somewhere there. Maybe I don't need to add the extra steps this time because uh, this canyon isn't as uh, large as the previous one. Let me check it again correctly. Uh, no, this one is uh, not as large as the previous one. Maybe it will be suitable like this. Uh, final step from the right side of the layout is to grant access to the fourth uh, level. I will not use any kind of uh, big stairs this time. I will use uh, the same technique I firstly opened this video, consisting of uh, mini stairs. And I will put them along the right side there. Let's do it.
and the final uh, step uh, is uh, completed. Uh, all need to be fixed. Yes, I know. Not now. But I wanted to give uh, you the overall aspect of uh, um, all the climbing from ground level to fourth level. Uh, let's have a look from uh, the distance. Here we go. And uh, uh, it was uh, the best uh, solution, I think, for this year uh, to get access uh, from the uh, third level to the fourth uh, level. I could have used a long uh, stairs uh, all along the final uh, wall, but uh, I wanted to give some little uh, twist there. Uh, maybe it's the only um, uh, little corner where the, um, the stairs aren't perfectly uh, blended with the um, landscape. A little twist, anyway. And uh, that's all for the uh, right side and for the left side of the layout. I still need to fill the long gap separating the right side of the third level from the left side of the third level. But I still haven't used my uh, arc uh, bridge, my long arc bridge. I will put it there, in the middle. <laughs>
a quick uh, layer of uh, uh, grey, of mid-shaded grey, not too light, not too dark, in order to have uh, this uh, uh, aspect of uh, uh, stone. Of stone. Uh, then I've applied uh, some brown to the platform and to the uh, steps, just in some key points. It is uh, an almost uh, dry brush I used for brown because I don't want it to be so marked. I don't want it to be so much uh, visible. After the brown was dry, I then applied a, a dry brush of uh, tan. All these paintings have been made horizontally. I always paint uh, uh, all the first layer horizontally. After all this was done, I've then added some uh, white brush, some very white dry brush. But instead of going horizontally, all my white brushing is always done uh, vertically in order to uh, simulate uh, the cold, the snow, um, the, uh, the, the, um, the old age of every stone. This is, is it all? Absolutely not. Uh, I then apply a liquid mixture of black and water. I call it a black wash. It will give all the stones, all the uh, materials, this, uh, this aspect of uh, almost uh, dirt, of almost very old stones. And I generally use two layers of it. Obviously, it will darken all the shades. As I also made these big holes here, and I intended to um, add some more vegetation, I've also added, uh, uh, at the end, some more um, tan shades all along this line, because I want to, to simulate after, and you will see it in some uh, days, uh, how the... Um, the water, the humidity, will, um, will flow down the wall and create uh, this uh, little discoloration here. And that's all. Uh, also, this uh, little wall uh, have been uh, carved into some of the uh, styrofoam. And this is the same technique I've used for the other, for the other stairs. Also there uh, with some more uh, brown this time and for the big uh, stairs here with uh, a lot more of brown of course but always the same technique. Dark grey with uh, black, grey, tan, white, dry brush and then uh, black wash. And, and that's all, I think. This is the result uh, you can get uh, from uh, using this uh, technique. Uh, again, I'm very, very sorry to have uh, told you something that was completely uh, wrong. Uh, once again, all my promises are just sailor's promises. And you won't see any fixing. But when filming, it is awfully hard to calculate how long the video will result after editing. If you start from a white, flat layout, it is almost impossible to let other people quickly understand what you have in mind, and that the final result could be decent. Building Christmas villages is certainly time-consuming, but also very stressful if you have to convince others that they can trust you because you know precisely what you are doing. Those who have endured this far in the series have also sipped around five hours of a complete rough, crude, rustic Christmas village in the become. And only now, maybe, they can start to get where I want to go. I am sorry for that. But building this kind of villages is uh, uh, similar to work with uh, photo editing software. You need to add layer after layer 
until the result is finally achieved, knowing that each single standalone layer is simply unwatchable. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time. Thank you.